There is nothing better than having your entire Costco ordered delivered straight to your front door. You never have to walk into the store. You save so much time. Apparently, I've been living under a rock because I had never heard of Instacart, but if you haven't already checked it out, I do have a link down below. You can save 20 bucks off your first order. It is the best service that I utilize. So today, I'm gonna to be covering our top 10 items from Costco that are high in protein, relatively, that are kid friendly, that your little ones will actually eat, and also are price effective. So none of these items are things you can't buy at other stores, but if you do go to your local grocery store, they're usually like 50% more, so it's worth making the trip to Costco or utilizing a service like Instacart to bring them straight to your front door. So let's jump straight into it in no particular order, starting with number one. Now keep in mind, this is a monthly pickup for us. So the first one we went with are gonna be the organic chicken sausages. I love to utilize these in my egg bites. They are so delicious, so convenient. All you have to do is heat them up on the stove. Megan loves them as well. And most importantly, it is a protein source that my 17-month-old son will actually eat. And not only eat, but will beg for more of. So they're so easy to store, so easy to cook. We pick up three bags every single month and we go through the entire thing. But if you don't already purchase something like this, I would highly recommend it, especially given the ingredients on this are very, very minimal. Not a lot of processed food. It is organic if you care about things like that. But this is one of the best values we have found for the entire family. Number two might seem a little bit random, but it is these takeout crispy wings. And this is a perfect example of something you can go to your local store and buy. Here and in North Carolina, I can go to Harris Teeter and buy a single bag, a single serving for $10, where this family size bag I think is like 14 bucks and this has about nine servings. So it's just a no brainer to go ahead and pick it up at Costco. I like to eat these on Sundays with a pizza just to have a little free meal, but they're so delicious. The macronutrient breakdown is actually really good. It's not what you'd expect from a, a chicken wing. And also, again, the ingredients are much better than most other chicken wings. They'll stay in the freezer, so all you have to do is store them, and when you're ready to eat them, you cook them for 30 minutes and they're done and delicious. Up next at number three is actually something I had never had before, before picking them up at Costco. It's these organic pot stickers. Megan wanted to try these and I am surely glad that she did. So for seven of them, five fat, 32 carb, and 12 grams of protein. Again, all organic ingredients and another food that my son will actually eat and look forward to. And then when you're in a rush, you know, there's all those always gonna be nights where you don't have a lot of time to make dinner. This is a super easy, easy solution. You put them on the pan, you cook them for about 10 minutes and they're done. They're great paired with rice and they're just very versatile even if you just want them for a quick snack. So we always pick up a few bags of these and you know when you have little ones, when they want something quick, there's nothing better than being able to grab something healthy and quickly. So highly, highly recommend these pot stickers. I believe we are at number four. If not, Greg will correct me on the screen but eggs. Obviously, you can go almost anywhere and get eggs, but if you want organic pasture raised, it's gonna be very expensive. We used to buy Vital Farms eggs, $9 or eight or $9 a dozen, which is nuts. If you go to Costco, you get 24 organic pasture raised eggs for $8. You cannot beat it, so we will buy a month at a time just because you're gonna save so much money buying in advance from Costco, and it's nice to always have them on hand especially if you have the space for it. So highly recommend looking for this specific one if you care about the quality of the egg. Personally, I think it matters. Number five is one of Griffin's favorite food. This is called mush. It's like an overnight oat, but what I love about it, similar theme here, only clean ingredients. These aren't foods that we're eating for every single meal, but inevitably you're gonna need things that are quick grab and go. So we're just trying to pick the best possible options. And these get a little pricey at the store. I think they're like two bucks a cup if you try to get them at the store where an eight pack at Costco is right around $10. They are really, really good. I like to steal uh, some of his from time to time, but we, we do stock up on these because of the value that you get at Costco. They last for like a month and a half. So whether it's you looking for something quick or a little one, highly encourage you to give these guys a try. The vanilla is off the charts. Good. About six grams of protein. Again, it's not a crazy amount, but for a 17 month old, 
that definitely adds up and you try to sneak in protein anywhere you can. Number six, another one of Griffin's favorite, Cometeer coffee. Okay, this one might be for me. If you've been on the channel for a while, you would know Cometeer is my favorite coffee in the world. Favorite hot coffee in the world, I will say. Better than any coffee shop I've been to, definitely better than anything I've made at home. They come in frozen pods, you pour hot water over it, and it is the smoothest coffee that I've personally ever tried. I absolutely love it, and I'm so happy they carry it at Costco now. You can also buy it off of their website, and they'll ship it to your house. This stuff is so good. It was on sale today, so I picked up two boxes of this. I can never have enough. I keep it in the freezer, and any day that starts with comments here is going to be an amazing day. Fun fact, number seven was actually named after me, Organic Heavenly Hunk. If you're like me and you've got a sweet tooth but you don't want to feel too guilty, highly recommend picking something like this up. They are just enough. You have one after dinner, takes that edge off. You know how it is when you're just craving something a little sweet. Organic gluten-free oats, organic Bryce round syrup, organic cane sugar. So again, it's not like the best possible ingredients, but it is better than a lot of the alternatives out there. They're very cost effective and very, very delicious. So give them a try if you or anyone in your house need that sweet fix. I've been working hard over here. I deserve a treat. Number eight, let's move back to something a little healthier. That's it bars. When I first found these, I was like, there's gotta be a catch. But apparently the ingredients are literally just fruit. Apples, strawberries, or apples and mangoes, or apples and blueberries, and that's it. You get it? But surprisingly, my son loves these things. I love them, my wife loves them, and they're 60 calories each. It's just a good way to get in fruit, and I can pack them with me when I travel. I think they taste great. It takes a little getting used to. You know, when you're eating a bar, you're used to all the extra sugars, but this is something that's so great to have on hand. And again, if you try to go to the store and buy them, they're gonna be pretty expensive. They are half the price if you can pick these up at Costco. These are the mini bars. They also have full-size ones as well. But if you haven't already tried them, just give them a shot and let me know what you think. Number nine, pretty simple, but it is organic almond butter. What I really appreciate about this, the ingredients, again, it's only organic roasted almonds, nothing else. No added fillers or any other crap. And the price on this is awesome. So it's $10 for this big jar. If you go to the big box stores, it's usually about half the size than the same price or sometimes even a little bit more. So we can really go through a lot of this and not have to worry about it. So that would be my recommendation if you're looking for a nut butter. They also have pretty good peanut butters as well. I just think this is a better option. So number 10 doesn't have a lot of protein inherently until you make the full recipe, but Rouse pasta sauce, you mix this with noodles, go figure, and some ground beef. It is delicious, quality ingredients, but this pasta sauce is the best tasting pre-made sauce that I have ever personally tried. I know there's a lot of hype behind it, but I think it is well warranted. And again, a much better value when you purchase this from Costco. And since this didn't have a lot of protein, I'm gonna throw you all a bonus. So 10.5 slash 11 are going to be the Kirkland brand, Costco brand, protein bars. I'm not a big fan of the chocolate, but the chocolate chip cookie dough, those are phenomenal. And for like a dollar a bar, it is just a fantastic purchase. So I'll have those every now and again. You know, it's not what my primarily primary diet is made up of, but it's nice to have them again when I'm traveling and moving around pretty fast. So those are my top 10 items I recommend for everyone at Costco. All right, that is gonna be it. If there's anything else that you all recommend I try from Costco, please let me know. I'm always trying to find new things. And again, I think the easiest way to do this is go on your phone on the Instacart app and you just add the few things that you like and it comes straight to the door. This video specifically is not sponsored by Instacart. I know it seems like it is, although they do give me a kickback if anyone does use that link and you all get $20 on your first order. So it's a win-win. I just think it's such a phenomenal value proposition that I don't have to drive 30 minutes, spend an hour, drive an hour, 30 minutes back. You know, it saves so much time. It's awesome. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the video and I look forward to talking to y'all next week.